So, how do we build this retaining wall? Well, this is recapping. You've got to read the word out loud. Then you've got to remember it off by heart. This is one of the things we used to do in Sunday school. Uh, learning the scriptures off by heart. Hallelujah. How many scriptures do you know off by heart? Or are you dependent upon this? When they steal them, they've done it in China. They, they try to do it in Russia. Don't be surprised they'll try and do it to you. Get it in your heart. They can't steal it from there. Hallelujah. Then you've got a ruminate on the word. Ruminate is an English word that means meditate. It's, it's the word that uh, um, talks about a cow chewing the cud. The cow br uh, eats the grass, then he brings it back up again and chews it again. So meditation, it means that you eat the word of God, then you bring it back and you chew it a bit more. That's how you get the goodness out of the word. Hallelujah. So ruminate. And when you do that, revelation comes. That wall has to be built inside of the well to do its work. Hallelujah. If you've got a well without a retaining wall, you can guarantee that the soil will fall back in. And uh, when that happens, that is a picture of backsliding. Backsliding is falling back into your own sinful ways. You've al allowed those thoughts to come back into your heart. You've listened to them and you've obeyed those thoughts. That's what backsliding is. Hallelujah doesn't matter what the sin is that's how it's happened psalm 119 verse 11 how can a young man uh, protect his ways by storing up uh, the word of god in his heart hallelujah that's how you guard in your heart this happens in our church all of the time people that are doing the intercession um i haven't talked to pastor sonny but he preached my message he prayed the message uh, the first half hour of our meeting uh, and that happens with many of our people they do exactly the same thing why is that? It's because we're listening to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is saying, well, this is my message, right? You do this bit, and I'll get the pastors to do that part. When people come in and start to get to know us, they sit there and think, hey, it happens all the time. And it isn't just one person. They're all doing it. What's happening? Why can't I do it? Well, you will be able to do it if you stay long enough. We'll, we'll just show you because we're not special. We're just Christians that hear God. And hopefully most of you do what you hear. So backsliding is falling back into your own sinful ways. So let's pray again. Let's pray for grace to remember scripture, grace to meditate on scripture, and grace to understand scripture. Hallelujah. If you've not been able to do it, ask the Lord to give you the grace to do it. Almighty God, as we come before you, we are asking for this grace. We know that you can transform us and that you do it through your word. And so we need to get your word into our hearts in greater measure. Father, give us a love for your word. Give us a love, Father God, for spending time in your presence. Father God, give us a love for living water, for revelation, for wisdom. And so God wants us to be a wellspring of life to others. This was what Sonny was saying in the intercession. As you fill your internal well with the living water of the word of God, so the Lord will bring across your path those who are dry and thirsty. But do you know, out there, there are millions of lonely people that are living on their own, that are depressed, hopeless, haven't got a clue on how to do any of this. And I'll never meet them, but you could. That's why I have to teach you. And so Luke, verse 43 to 45. And this works, what I'm teaching you, uh, both in the positive and the negative. Verse 43, for a good tree does not bear bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For men do not gather figs from thorns, nor do they gather grapes from a bramble bush. A good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, brings forth good. He brings forth good, because that's what's in there. Remember I said, if you've got a bucket of clean water, and you put a sponge into the bucket, and then you pull it out and you give it a squeeze, what comes out? Clean water. 
So if you fill your heart with the word of God and the Holy Spirit, when the time comes for you to minister, what comes out is going to be good. It's going to be living water. Hallelujah. So if you think I struggled with this prophesying, actually what you need to do is you need a closer relationship with the Holy Spirit. You need more of the word in your heart. That's what you need. Hallelujah. But you stick around with us, you'll find you'll start to do it because you're under the spirit of prophecy. Hallelujah. And when we put on workshops and other people are doing it, you'll just start to catch it because the anointing is more caught than taught, you know. Hallelujah. It rubs off. Anointing was rubbed on. The oil was rubbed on and it'll rub off. It rubs off of us onto you. Then evil man. Out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. Now, I unnerve people at times when I say, I know what's in your heart. Because I'll listen to what comes out of your mouth. You see, when I listen to what comes out of your mouth, it's come out of your heart. So I know what's in your, your heart. I don't have to be a prophet, really. I can get revelation knowledge. I can get supernatural understanding about your situation. But most of the time, all I've got to do is just listen for long enough. They're listening here. Now, I might not minister into it then. But when I've got a chance later down the path, I'll say something to you. And you might look at me and think, how do you know that? Well, I heard you say it three months ago. Hallelujah. And you see, the reason why bad things happen is because it's come out of your heart and you've said it. That's why one of the things you'll hear, hear the most, you need to change your confession. Don't say that. Don't say that. Do you want that? Well, no, I don't want it. Well, don't say it then. Because if you keep saying it, you'll get it. Taking correction from those around you that hear what you're saying. Don't, don't push it away. Don't get annoyed. Don't get offended. Those people are trying to save you from bad things coming into your life.